to show you how to loop a train kite. So this is a skill that you may want to learn before you get out on there out on, in, on the water. You've probably seen a lot of advanced kiters doing loops and big tricks. So you can practice that with your trainer kite before you get out. So it's a simple move uh, and with a trainer kite in lighter winds it shouldn't pull you around too much but you will feel the, the power of the kite which is which is fun. So the way that I find the easiest to go about it is to start by moving the kite across the wind window and then actually loop it back in the opposite direction by cranking on the bar. So you can see as it starts to come back down, we, we pull on this bar and we prepare ourselves like this. You can see I'm crouching down, getting ready for the power that's about to be delivered. Now, you can see the angle of the bar here. I haven't really cranked it. I've only sort of steered it into a loop. And so as it starts to swoop quite low in the wind window, it really does pull me forward. And you can see that I go a little bit off balance there. Now, the second thing we want to do is really commit to the loop. Here, you can see that I really start to crank on that bar. You can see the angle now between the lines and the bar, and the kite stays far higher in the wind window, and it doesn't pull me nearly as far. Now, as soon as you've done the loop, you can straighten your hands back out, even your hands back up, and the kite will fly straight by itself. There's nothing else needed there. So this really is part of, you need to crank it all the way around. Make sure you hold that loop We'll show that again. Make sure you hold this loop all the way around. Commit to it until it comes all the way around and you can see I've straightened it now as the kite starts to go back up into the sky. So to show it from another angle and, and not really cranking on that bar and how much more of an effect it has on your body, you can see that I'm hardly steering the kite here. It swoops all the way down almost to the ground and, and pulls me forward. Now, as you get more confident doing this, this is actually a really good skill to learn and to practice because this is a, there's a lot of kite control technique that you can learn by trying to swoop the kite as low to the ground as you can and really trying to run it along parallel to the ground. So it's a really nice skill to do and you will feel a lot of fun there with the kite when you start to pull these. So all in all, look, it's an easy skill. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. There's just a couple of things to keep in mind. Get ready for it. It will pull you forward and crank on that bar and really commit to it. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and have fun looping your trainer kite.